Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel and to the first of my process videos. So you only have 10 minutes highlighting the sheet load of cards that I just showcased on the second of the month. This is Alicia's sheet load and I will be doing the slim light cards and I wanted to show you what I've done. I've got all the pieces ready. These are the card bases. They are seven by eight and a half, and we're just gonna fold them in half. Or, yeah, lengthwise. And you can, you can just use your fingers. That would work fine. Or I don't know where my bone folder is, but I can use this old letter opener. So there's an example. And I will put 10 minutes on the clock and we will get started. Okay. There are several things that I will be using and I will showcase those as soon as I'm done with the cards. We're going to get these cards. And there was a question somebody had asked earlier about what kind of envelopes to use for these. And they will fit in a number 10 office size envelope that you get at the store. Or you can make your own with the envelope punch board, which I do have one of those, so I might try that. I'm going to be just making six um, for the purposes of of the sheet load of cards, but I have more made I'm going to do later. And you will see also that the first piece of pattern paper is cut to exactly fit over the card base but I'm gonna cut it down a little more because I do prefer just a hint of the white card base showing. We're almost done. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're just going to use six here. I have plenty more made, but we're just going to use six here for now. Okay. So we have our card bases. And the pattern paper that I chose to use, and I forgot the name of it, but it's an old... Christmas paper from Stampin' Up, double-sided. It was a really hard choice, but because I have uh, my bell choir people that I always like to make cards for, I chose this one. So this is the pattern paper. And these are my... This is the matting, and this is... The other, the other pieces, and this is what I'm going to stamp on. So, like I said, I'm going to cut this down because it just fits. And I want to cut it down a little bit. Probably about to that first line, maybe an eighth of an inch. So 
So here's my six pieces. Let's start attaching them with my Chombo Mono Glue Runner. do have a replacement handy when and if it runs out. This is the hard part just because there's no wiggle, wiggle room per se with the glue runner as opposed to just glue. And I have that too. But that's what makes our cards unique, right? No two are going to be the same. did a prototype just to see how everything would work out and I think I think they're going to be nice I have a bunch of different embellishment pieces and so no two cards are going to be alike for sure sure to put the bells right side up and make sure the card is opening the way I want. Okay, the last one. Okay, well, okay, I'm down to a minute. Let's go ahead and put in my new replacement. Or just use some use some glue. cards. And then instead of this small piece here that's going to go across, I'm going to be using ribbon. And you'll see that more clearly as we go. But this is the main card. Okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Here's the main card. I'm sorry I showed you the cutting guide. But this is the main card. So we got all the, the front pieces on. And so next time... We will start with, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. We're going, to, we're going to assemble these pieces. So the sentiment, sentiment here, and the pattern paper here. And then in the middle is going to go that piece of ribbon. Okay. And the sentiment that I have chosen is the best gifts don't come under the tree 
and it fits just perfectly with some room for embellishments. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.